What's up everybody, Camero here, and welcome to part 83 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be looking at how to add a rechargeable healing vial to our Pokemon game. First, we're going to add the item into our game with the item code and the graphics. Then after that, we're going to update our scripts so that way the item functionality is in our game. And then after that, we're going to update our Pokemon Center event so that way they refill our vial. Then after that, we're going to make another event that adds to our vial charge number so that way we can use it more than once. And then finally, we're going to tweak the script a little bit so that way sound effects play when we're healing. With all that said, let's get into it. So, I have to mention at the start of this tutorial that this is based off of a resource created by Volzion to emulate the Temescence vial from Temtem. The way that this works is it's kind of like an Estus flask from Dark Souls in that you can use it and consume it and it will heal you. And in the case of Temtem, it will fully heal your entire party. And then you have to visit a healing center to refill it. So, all of the resources are here in this page, and I will link this in the description, but we're going to go through it all and we're going to install the healing vial into our Pokemon game. So, this is all based off of the script code here at the bottom of the, of the tutorial, so I've just gone and put them in a text document here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go and add all of them to our game. So first and foremost, let's add the vial as an item in our game. To add the vial to our game, first what we need to do is we need to go into our games folder, then we need to go into PBS items.txt. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom here and take a look at this. There's the Mega Ring and the Lunarizer. There's a lot of items here, 633 in Pokemon Essentials V18. And uh, we're just going to make a new one here, 634. And this is where that first bit of vial info comes in. Let's just add this one here. So the way that the vial works is it comes in two stages. This first one is the vial. And we can just, for the purpose of our game, we can call this the healing vial. And if you have multiple, it'll be healing vials, but you should really only have one. So this is the one that we can use to heal our party. And the other one, which will be item 635 in this case, is the empty vial. So let's go and add the empty vial code right here. So that way it'll be a second item, item 635. So there we go. And we'll call this healing vial as well. So they'll have a similar name, but their internal name will be different. And by internal name, I mean this name that's in all caps here. So when we use the vial, it'll then turn into the empty vial. And then if we interact with a Pokemon Center, it'll turn the empty vial back into our regular vial. That's how it's intended to work. So. We've actually already added this as an item in our game. What we need to do now is add the graphics and add the scripts next. So what I've done is I've just gone and I've already downloaded the graphics here. And this is our empty vial and this is our full vial. Looks like almost like a jar of honey. So let's just go and copy these into our game. Then we want to go into graphics, icons, and I can just paste these in right here. And what we want to do, actually, I'll go in the layer before, so that way it's easier to keep track. What we want to do is we want to call these, I believe, what, item 634 and item 635. Let's just go and double check for the rest of our items here. Oh, man, there are a lot of item graphics in here, but it only goes up to 525 for our item graphics. But I guess that's just because all these other ones don't really have graphics. But we're going to change that. We're going to have item 634 and item 635. So let's go into our game folder once again. And let's make it so our full vial is item 634 and let's make it so that way the empty vial here is item 635 cool so now let's just drag these into our game's icons folder and bada boom we can scroll on down to the bottom and we can see that item 634 which is the full vial has an associated graphic 635 here has an associated graphic as well cool so step one is already complete we've added the vial into our game but in its current state, it won't do anything. We need to add the items functionality, which is our next step. Thankfully, I've already gone and I've grabbed the script here, which is the vile item script. And what we wanna do is just copy this big old chunk here. Once again, this is all in the linked tutorial resource, which is in the description. But what we wanna do is we wanna take that and we wanna go into our game scripts folder and we can just type control shift F exp all, because we wanna put it around where the exp all is so that's in our item effects and we can just put it underneath the exp all and exp all off so let's just go down here paste it and bada boom 
So the way that this script works is it takes a game variable into account to see how many charges we have, and if we have more than one charge, it heals our whole party and then subtracts that game variable. And in this case, it's game variable 50. If you are already working on a game and you already have game variable 50 used, then what you'd want to do is change this. So instead of game variable 50, you could change it to 99. And you'd want to go and make sure that it's changed at every instance of the script. So there's a 50 there, so you'd want to change that to 99. There's a 50 there, there's a 50 there. But for, for the purpose of this tutorial, I think we can just use game variable 50. Now, we're going to want to use a second variable as well. So let's just go into our game and make it so that way 50 and 51 are related to the Temessence file. Or the healing vial. Sorry, I call it the Temessence file because I'm so used to Temtem. But anyway... What we have here is our variables. Let's just go to 50 and 51. We can see that 50 isn't being used by anything. So let's just call this vial charges. And let's make it so that way 51 here is max vial charges. So the way that this should work is 50 is how many charges we currently have. And 51 is the maximum amount we're allowed to have. So, when we're first given the vial, these should both be set to 1. But, as we play through the game, what we could do is we could increase our vax max vial charges. And I think I actually just typed vial twice there. Let's delete that. Cool. So, theoretically, what we could do is make it so that way, as you play through the game more, you could hold up to 2 charges, 3 charges, 4 charges. It's up to you. And once again, this is all optional. If you want, you can make it so that way the max vial charges are never increased and you can only have 1. That's how Temtem does it. You're only allowed to have 1 vial charge in Temtem. So, let's test this out in our game, actually. Since we've got the script already in, this should work. The reason that this will work is because it already is calling the game variable 50 minus 1. It's already calling, like, a heal command for all the Pokemon in our party. It says your Pokemon are fully healed. And after healing, it changes the vial into the empty vial. That's pretty cool. Check this out. What I've done is I've edited our Professor Oak that we had a conversation with in the last couple tutorials. And I made it so that way he just says, hey, take this item. Let's make it so that way he gives us our vial. Ta-da! And as he's giving us our vial, let's insert the control variables command. And let's set variable 50 to 1. And let's set variable 51 to 1 as well. The reason I'm doing this is because by default, if you create a variable and you don't set it to a default value, it'll default to 0. So, if we ran our game without setting these variables to anything, it would say we have zero charges, which would stink, because that would mean we can't use our vial. Cool. So, now that we've given ourselves one vial charge, let's, uh, let's go get our vial in-game and use it on our Pokémon. I think right now I don't have any Pokémon, so I'm going to need to give myself the demo party. Let's take a look. Yeah, I don't have any Pokemon. So to fix this, we can just hit F9 to open debug mode. Pokemon options. Give demo party. There we go. So let's go and talk to Oak. He says, hey, take this. Hey, we got our healing vial. Nice. I love that item. I already gave you an item. Scram. Okay, Oak. He'll only give me one healing vial. So, the way that this works is, it doesn't check to see if your Pokemon are all at full health, because it's up to the user's discretion if they wish to heal their Pokemon. But, if we want to, we could just use it right now. You have one charge left. Would you like to heal your Pokemon? Uh, you know what? Let's, let's not heal them, and let's prove a point. Let's use Debug to beat up our Pokemon a little bit. We can do Debug, HP, Set HP. Pikachu, Pikachu's gotten beat up pretty bad. Pikachu's at four health. And let's make it so our Pidgeotto... Let's lower your HP also. Let's set you down to like 28. And let's set your status to be poisoned. Oh no, my Pidgeotto's poisoned. And let's use Debug once again to set our status of Kadabra to be burned. Dang, my team's pretty beat up. So, let's let's just look at it. Our Pikachu's beat up, Pidgeotto's beat up and poisoned, our Kadabra's burned. So, let's use our Healing Vial now. Let's go to Bag. Let's go to Healing Vial and let's use it. I have one charge because of that variable that we set. Would you like to heal your Pokemon? Yes. My Pokemon were fully healed, and now I have no more charges left. And look at that. The healing vial has just transformed into the empty vial. It has a different graphic. It has a different description. 
and now we can't really use it. Let's try to use it again. We can't. The reason I have this toss option here is because I'm playing in debug mode. Since it's a key item, you will not be able to toss this when playing standard. But look at that. Our, my Pokemon team is fully healed. Pikachu's back up to full health. Pidgeotto's no longer poisoned. Kadabra's no longer burned. Our team is healed. That's pretty awesome. But now our vial can't be used anymore because we don't have any more charges in our vial. And it's the empty vial. So what we need to do now is... Actually, you know, I'll save... And then what we'll do is we'll implement the next step. So we need to make it so that way if we go to a Pokemon Center, they can recharge our healing vial. So let's go to the Sedolan City Pokemon Center right here, and let's go to Nurse Joy. And let's make it so that way if we select yes to heal, it'll refill our vial. Thankfully, this is actually super freaking easy to do. The first thing that we want to do is we want to do control variables, and we want to set vial charges which is currently set to zero right now remember because we've used up all of our vial charges and we want to set this equal to the value of a variable which is actually variable 51. so what this does is it'll set our current number of vial charges equal to our max vial charges so this was zero this was one so then our vial charge count will become one and if we ever increase our max vial charges in the future let's say we have two or three, it'll set our current vial charges equal to two or three, depending on how far we are in the game. That's pretty awesome. However, there is still another important thing that we need to do. The next thing that we need to do is use a script command to change the empty vial into the full vial. Let me show you. What we can do is base this off of the current script command that's already in our scripts. This calls Pokemon PB change item vial to empty vial. And one thing that's really cool about this is it already checks to see if you have the item. If you have a vial, turn it into an empty vial, and then vice versa. So what we want to do is take this and tweak it to do the opposite. Let's go into our Nurse Joy event up here, and underneath our variable setting, let's do insert, then go to the third page and go to script command, paste that in. And since it's like being weird with the formatting there, let me really quickly run extend text exe there we go now it's all going to be on one line i always like looking at it like that anyway instead of changing a vial into an empty vial let's change an empty vial into a vial there we go so now if we go and interact with nurse joy she will refill our healing vial so let's go do that right now let's go talk to her nurse joy i ran out of my healing juice Let's uh, let's just use debug and just walk through the walls here. And let's go to Sedolan City. Thankfully, it's just right up here to the north. And we need to make our way to the Pokemon Center. I wish I gave myself the running shoes. I could use debug and do that, but I'm already so close to the Pokemon Center. Come on, baby. We're gonna make it. Even though my team is fully healed. <laughs> I don't really need to go to the Pokemon Center, but I want to. All right, here we are. This is really loud in the Pokemon Center. But yeah, here we are. We're in the Pokemon Center. So let's once again look at our bag. The healing vial is empty. So we have our empty healing vial here. Let's recharge it at the Pokemon Center. Hello and welcome. Restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest? Yeah. So now that I've selected yes, my healing vial has now been refilled. So they heal all of our Pokemon too. Pretty fancy. All right, now let's take a look at our healing vial. Wouldn't you know, it's been recharged. Check it out. And if we use debug and go and take a look at our field options variables, we can go and see that our vial charge was increased to one or reset back to one and our max vial charges is still at one. Cool. So theoretically, if we used debug and increase this to like six, then if we go and talk to Nurse Joy and heal again, what it'll do is it'll refill us up to six. So let's try that out now. Let's see if we can get six vial charges. That's a lot of healing. That might be too much healing for a Pokemon game. Imagine being able to fully heal yourself six times. That's that's a lot of healing. Anyway, let's try using it. I have six charges. Oh, would I like to heal? Yes. And now five charges remain. And then you can keep on doing this. Healing and healing and healing. Cool. So... That's really awesome. What we'd want to do is theoretically just roll this out to all of the other uh, Nurse Joys in our game as well. 
So make it so that way every single Pokemon Center refills your vial. That's pretty great. Now, let's make an event for somebody who increases our vial charges. And this is actually going to be super easy. It's actually basically the same as Nurse Joy. So let's make this guy say, show text, hey, I'll increase your vile charges for free. So the way that you'd want this to work is actually the exact same as Nurse Joy. So we can go and copy and paste that. What it does is it sets our vile charges equal to max vile charges and replaces the empty vial with a vial. So that way he's also refilling for us. But you have to just add one more little bonus step. What you want to do is do control variables and set max vial charges to be add one. So we increase our max vial charges by one, then we refill our vial. And then we'll have them say, ta-da, enjoy. And then let's do control self switch A on. And let's just make it so that way there's a new event page where he disappears. <laughs> so after he refills our vial, uh, let's make him say, I'm going to disappear now. See ya. Cool. So let's interact with this guy in our game now. Let's test this out. So what we have here is an empty vial. Let's talk to this guy now. Hey, I'll increase your vial charges for free. Ta-da, enjoy. I'm going to disappear now. See ya. Aha, he's gone. But we now have a healing vial that has been refilled, and let's use it. We have two charges. Would you like to heal? Yeah, let's heal. Cool. So let's once again use debug, because debug is awesome. Field options, variables. And let's go down to variable 50. Look at that. Our max vial charges has been increased, and our current vial charges is 1. If current vial charges ever drops to zero when we're using our vial, then it'll switch to the empty vial. And then we can go and refill it at the Pokemon Center, where it will set the number back to our maximum variable count. That's pretty awesome. I think that this is just about done, don't you? Like, it looks really good. However, there is still one small thing that I would want to do, and that is add sound effects to play when we're healing. Because it felt a little bit, like, empty or a little bit awkward that there were no sound effects. Thankfully, this is also super, super easy to do. So right here at the text where it says your Pokemon are fully healed, we can just do slash slash ME and then brackets and then the name of a sound effect in our game's ME folder. The reason we're doing ME instead of SF or SE, ME stops the background audio where SE does not stop it. So what this does is basically it, it becomes the only sound we hear. And this is what's already done in-game when we heal our Pokemon. And they use what's this one, PokemonHealing.OGG. Let's listen to it real quick. Sounds pretty good. So let's go and take Pokemon Healing, copy that, and just go into our game and paste it right here. Pokemon Healing. And let's just take this and copy this and paste this here for this other chunk of uh, code. So. The reason we've done this twice is because our, there are two instances of the script that heal our Pokemon. This is if we're at one charge, this is every other time. And this is when we have zero charges. So now that we've added the slash slash ME Pokemon healing, let's go and try using our vial one more time. All right, so we're in the Pokemon Center. We've got our empty healing vial. Let's talk to the dude once again to increase our vial charges. We'll see ya. Thanks, guy. All right, let's use it. Would you like to heal your Pokemon? Yes, I would. Hey, our Pokemon were fully healed. One charge is rain. Ta-da! There we go. So now we've added sound effects that play when we heal our Pokemon. I think that's really freaking cool. Anyway, um, I think that about does it for this tutorial. Once again, thank you so much to Voltzion for putting this together. Uh, I put this in Pokemon Splice, and it added a lot. I love this item. Uh, when I was playing through Temtem, I was a huge fan of the Temescence Vial, so I do think that adding some way to portably heal that isn't just potions, like, that vial is just, it's really cool. If you add it to your game, though, you do have to consider the, the fact that it makes your game a lot easier, so you would maybe want to make battles harder or find some sort of way to balance around that, so... This isn't something that you can just throw into your game and be like, hey, my game's instantly better. 
it's something that you'd have to throw in and consider and design around. But anyway, uh, I think that's about it for me. I want to say thank you so much once again for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you found it very useful, and hopefully some more games incorporate the healing vial, because I, I'm a Dark Souls fan, I'm a Temtem fan, and if you put this in your game, I'll be a fan of your game too. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching once again, I appreciate you, and until next time, I hope that you all have a good one.